Hi everyone, today we're going to do something quite interesting. We're going to mix my hobby, trumpet playing, with my day job. But as many of you are, may not be aware, my day job is... I'm a PhD student in microbiology. I like to look at bugs and the environments which they live in. I like to look at antimicrobial resistance and see how it works in the environment. Really super cool stuff. So, I thought to myself, how often do you clean your instrument? You should comment below with an answer, but be honest. I have to say, I probably clean mine every three months. Maybe, maybe more, if I start to feel some resistance in it. Maybe less. <laughs> um, so, I thought it'd be really cool to see what bacteria are living inside. Because we all know, um, we've read the articles, you know, there's some people who've got very sick of uh, playing loaned brass instruments. And I think it would be quite novel to do some swabbing. And what we're going to do is we're going to take some swabs from inside the trumpet. We're going to take them in the lab. We're going to culture them and we're going to see what we grow. So, first of all, this is an Amy's Media Swab. Now, as you can see, we're not in the lab, we're in my house, and we're gonna have to take whatever's on here to the lab to get it tested. So, to start off, what we're gonna do is we crack them open, we take the swab out, we're gonna do four different places on the trumpet. So we wanna go inside the lead pipe, give it a nice wipe around, pick up all that gunge and rubbish and then pull it out, Ugh, minging, right, and put it straight in there. Now that's got a transport medium inside it, and basically whatever we put in there, it's gonna keep alive until we get to the lab. Now they don't last infinitely, but you get a good couple of weeks out of one of them. So the other thing we have to remember to do is label it. So we wanna write on there, lead pipe. That way, when we plate it out, we know what we've got. So I'm going to carry on. I'm going to swab in a few different places. I'll try and get some close-ups. And hopefully, uh, we should be able to grow some interesting bacteria. So I'll get you a close up of this next one. We're going to do the uh, the mouthpiece. So I'm hoping you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to take the swab out of the bag, pick up the mouthpiece, and then we want to get right in there, give it a good wipe around, and get inside the back end as well. Give it a good wipe all over it. And you can see the discoloration on there. And then we get our tube, really fiddly to do this with not enough hands. And then place our sample inside the tube and lock it. There you go. Right on it, red piece. And then we've got our final one down the end of the bell. And so straight down the end and give it a nice good rub around, try and catch as much muck as we can. As you can see, loads of rubbish. We'll then pop them in there. And then we'll take them and we will go off to the lab, plate them out and see what we've got. See you in a minute. So, today we're gonna to play our samples out. Um, we've got our swabs, which were taken from a trumpet, from the mouthpiece, the lead pipe, the main slide, and the bell. And we're gonna plate them out onto some agar plates. This, if we leave them on the bench overnight, on the 20 degrees, we'll see hopefully all of the environmental bacteria that are in there 
when we put them in the 37 degree incubator and leave them, they should show us pathogenic bacteria. Because obviously they've been incubated at body temperature, it's going to show us any bacteria that can live in the human body. So, to plate these out, what we need to do, so we'll start with the main slide. So, I've already pre labelled the plates, so main tuning slide. And what we do is we need the gas on, so we're working in a sterile environment. So, light the flame up, and then you take your swab take your swab you see all the gunge and rubbish on there and then we want to go across the plate with it like so keeping it close to the flame keeping it as sterile as possible and we're going to do both of them like I say this should give us a difference between the environmental load and bacteria that can live inside the body so that's one set done I'm now going to go on and do the others right so now we've swabbed all them out what we're going to do is they will be disposed of and what else we're going to do is we're going to separate them out so the 20 degree samples are left out on the bench that way then we'll be able to see what's surviving at room temperature and I shall put these in a 37 degree incubator and we should find out what is growing at body temperature and in the next clip I'll show you the results. Hi everyone, so today we're back in the lab. We're going to have a look at uh, the plates. They've been left for 24 hours overnight. We've got the stack out of the incubator that was stored at body temperature and we've got the stack of plates that were on the bench. Now, um, something to say is that the plates that were on the bench don't seem to have cultured anything yet, but this isn't uncommon um, with environmental samples that are left out at room temperature they usually take a couple of days to get going um, so what I'll do is in say five days time uh, I'll come back and we'll check those again um, but I'm going to give you some close-ups of the shots uh, of the uh, I'm going to give you a close-up of the plates and here we go have a look so here we have the uh, tuning slide, the main tuning slide uh, that's been stored in the incubator. Um, there's probably one colony on there, which is up here. I don't know if you can see that. There's also another colony there. So we are growing stuff. It may just take it a little bit longer to grow. Um, on the mouthpiece, we have, uh, just let me have a look. The mouthpiece, to be honest, was relatively clean. Um, like I say, we, I will leave them a bit longer and we'll come back in, say, five days and have a look at them again. Um, but here is the lead pipe. Now, as you can see, we've got something really big going on there and something big going on there too. Um, there's also a couple of little colonies which you might not be able to see because of the light that have grown but I would say that the lead pipes definitely got more growth on it than a lot of the other plates had um, the one from down the bell um, hasn't really grown anything so from the first 24 hours I would definitely say that the lead pipe is far more dirtier um, but we'll come back after a couple of days and uh, see if they've changed any let's have a quick look at the um, these are the ones that were kept at room temperature. Oh, that's a plain one. I wouldn't expect anything on there. These are the ones that are kept at room temperature. There's the bell. There's nothing on there. There's the lead pipe. There's nothing on there. That there is literally where I've pressed too hard with the swab. 
um, the mouthpiece, there's nothing on there. And the main tuning slide, there's nothing on there either. Right, okay, so here we have, we're 48 hours later, I've come back in to have a look at the plates. This is the lead pipe. Now, as you can see, this has really started to grow now. We've got an orangey looking bacteria all over here. We've also, this has grown in size quite a bit now. I don't know if you can see that, but you can see that's the body temperature plate. That's got an awful lot of growth on it now. Um, however, it'd be fair to say that a lot of the others, the bell, for example, there's only one colony on there. Um, then you've got the... Um, the mouthpiece is starting to grow some as well if you have a look you can see them just about there's quite a few colonies on there now um and the main tuning slide is de has definitely got some growth on it so you can imagine this is from a relatively clean trumpet but we're getting an awful lot of growth um the environmental samples that have been kept at room temperature have also started to grow so this is the stuff that will be living inside of your instrument. There's nothing on that one. The bell's relatively clear. The mouthpiece, um, there's none on there. That's environmental bacteria, that's pretty clear. And the main tuning slide. It's getting some growth, but not an awful lot. But they're very very minute i'd imagine the camera can't really pick up on them so as you can imagine you can see why it's so important to clean your instrument i mean if you can imagine you breathe in and that's what's going in that's what that's what you're breathing in and if any of them are sporulating bacteria you're going to breathe that straight into your lungs so you can see the importance of actually clearing cleaning your instrument you know this is why so many people are getting sick um if it can if i get the chance i'd like to do some identification on these and find out what is actually in there um because we definitely got definitely got two distinct different colonies um it'd be interesting to find out whether any of them are resistant or anything like that all right well we'll come back in about five days from now um because I'm, I'm off home and see if anything else has grown Hi everyone, so I'd just like to say thank you for watching so far. Um, I'm sorry the video ends rather abruptly there. Um, unfortunately, life, PhD, teaching, everything else just got in the way. Uh, but I feel like I don't want to end it on that note. Um, so it's important to say what I actually discovered inside the trumpet was um, some fungal growth. I also got um, some uh, streptococcus species and also some antibiotic resistant staphylococcus as well. So quite interesting considering a lot of us um, think that our, our instruments are antimicrobial, they are in fact not. So um, when I do get a chance I'd love to sort of continue this further. Those organisms that you can see in the video I do have stored. So it is something that I could open up again in the future. So thanks very much for watching. Um, if you have enjoyed, uh, drop a like on my page and uh, feel free to share this uh, amongst brass musicians who maybe don't clean their instruments as often as they should. So thanks for watching. Bye bye.